What do you get when you cross a giraffe and a hedgehog? A six-foot toothbrush. <laughs> Today we're drawing hedgehogs. That's so much fun. So I'm going to use a black marker, a brown marker, and a light brown marker. Meet me back here. Hi guys! So we're going to be drawing our hedgehog today. I've got a black marker, a dark brown marker, and a light brown marker. So the first thing I want to do with my hedgehog is make her little face. So I'm going to draw a little line here, come out and draw her ear, and a little inner ear right there. And they have these kind of cute little swooped faces <laughs> with tiny noses. And down from the nose, I'm going to draw the rest of her face. It's going to come down the body, up like this. Now, so far, she looks like she might turn into a reindeer or something, but that's not the case. <laughs> I'm going to do the eye, her eye. We're only going to see one eye in this picture because the other eye is on the other side of her body. But I'm going to do it across from the nose, right here, just like that. And a little mouth. She's happy. She's smiling. Maybe a couple little eyelashes. There we go. <laughs> And uh, now I'm going to follow down from the ear across her body some of the spiny textured little quills. Comes down, down the body like that. And up from the top of her head, I'm going to do up like This shape can be whatever you guys think. I'm kind of trying to show how she is very pokey. I've been learning lots about hedgehogs this week. Do you know that they can usually fit in the palm of your hand? They're quite small. Unlike porcupines, which can be really big. They're not related to porcupines at all. They're a totally different type of animal even though people compare them a lot. So now that I've got this kind of mane <laughs> on my hedgehog, I'm going to add some definition by going over it again, add a little bit more pokey areas. Now, hedgehogs are nocturnal. So they like to sleep all day, sleep about 18 hours a day, and then they're active at night. So now that we've got her hair, a little bit of her body, I'm going to come down and do her feet coming out. So the first foot I'm going to do over here, add a couple little claws there. Another foot next to it, out of the body. She's kind of sitting, so her feet are tucked a little bit under her body and her back feet there. They have these really short little legs and tiny little feet. Nice, we've got the outline of our hedgehog. Next thing I'm gonna do is color the under part of her body. Okay, so I'm using the lighter brown, and you can use, um, you can go ahead and use crayons, pencil crayons, or markers, whatever works for you guys. Just color this area. Now, Hedgehogs are pretty cool in the fact that they eat like anything. 
not anything, but they eat lots of tiny little things, bugs, um, tons of different insects, fruit, little animals, um, birds, frogs, almost anything, little mice, and they're called hedgehogs because they, they were found under hedges. That's where um, people found them. And they make this like snorting noise with their nose that sounds like a pig or a hog. Their, their name actually means how they act. They can smell really well. They can smell about an inch underground from where they are and then they can dig up what they want to eat. Here we go. Now a lot of people do have them as pets. They don't make the best pets though because they like to kind of only be up at night time and sleep a lot. In fact, in the states, there's many states where you aren't allowed to have hedgehogs at all. It's banned in the states, in a lot of different states, as ha having a pet at home that's a hedgehog. Hey, okay, we've got her under color. Huh, she looks great. Okay, I'm gonna do the spines on her, this darker color. Now, as you may know from Sonic the Hedgehog, one of their ways to um, protect themselves from predators is to curl up into a ball. And um, that way, predators are not going to be interested in them. They're scared of the spines and they stay away. And while they have a great sense of smell, they can't see much of anything. They have really poor eyesight. Porcupines um, are always compared to hedgehogs, but they're very different. Totally different type of animal. Porcupines can um, get rid of and release their quills, whereas hedgehogs, they stay there. They're just part of their body. Now I'd love to see what color of hedgehog you guys are drawing right now. <laughs> so hedgehogs, um, if they're in cold climates, like in Canada, they hibernate like a lot of other animals to um, survive in the winter and go to sleep. And uh, they kind of do the same thing if they're in a place that's really hot in the summer. They sleep for long periods of time to avoid the weather. Okay, I need a good name for my hedgehog. What should I call her? Probably an H name. I'm gonna call her Harriet. Harriet the Hedgehog. Have you guys ever seen a hedgehog in the wild before? You know, I haven't. I've only seen them as like pets had friends that have little pet hedgehogs, but not in the wild. She is almost done, guys! Wow. So I left this little circle on her cheek. I'm gonna use the darker brown, kind of rusty color to do a little blush right there. <laughs> She's cute! All right, so this was Harriet the Hedgehog. I hope you guys had fun. Happy Thanksgiving weekend.